Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Zainal's NEET PG Info Guide Series, uh, Manipur uh, Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, uh, Impal has uh, actually notified uh, the state counselling uh, 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 prospectus information bulletin and the notification has been shared uh, two days back. So we will be looking at the notifications. In case you are looking at RIMS Impal seats under All India Counselling, don't need to apply for this. 50% of RIMS Impal seats will be under All India Counselling. The total of 166 seats, 83 will be under All India Quota. Everybody across India will be eligible. Whoever is qualified through MCC's All India Counselling. Now, the rest 50% are under the state quota. For these state quota seats, RIMS has specific eligibility. If you belong, to, if you have done your MBBS from RIMS or you are in service in any of the seven northeastern states except Assam or if you had done your MBBS from these states, residing in these states, then you might have different uh, set of seats available in RIMS. Then it is you need to apply for this. RIMS simple process, application process is an offline process. You have to get a printout of your application form and then uh, fill it up, fill your entire application form, attach all the uh, copies and then you will have to send it across to the uh, RIMS authority basically. So that is how the process is. Uh, once you attach all the application, the application forms should reach RIMS before a particular date. That date has not been prescribed yet. You will need to send it across to the office of the director, RIMS Impal, this particular uh, address. Uh, the dates will be announced. You can wait for the dates. Uh, you can also get all your certificates and everything ready uh, and send it across straight away now too if you have all the information. The details of what needs to be sent and uh, the different uh, uh, certificates of declaration that needs to be sent. In case you are in service, then you need to uh, get this certificate. In case you are working somewhere but you are applying under the open category, then you have to get this certificate from your employer. If you wish to continue your employment even after con uh, the end of the three years course, otherwise you just need to resign and then the certificate may not be required. Declaration of the father or guardian on payment of fee etc. There is a declaration which is provided over here. That is also required. So all these, uh, uh, every document is also mentioned over here. You just need to get those from the right authority and also one major thing is we will explain what each category is. If you are applying for in-service category, you cannot apply for any of the open categories. Similarly, you cannot apply for in-service category if you are applying for at least one of the open categories. There might be candidates who have multiple open categories. That is fine. So uh, here we will look at the eligibility straight away. So RIMS uh, clearly has around uh, five different uh, eligibility criteria. Uh, first, we start with the in-service eligibility criteria. In-service sponsored category candidates are eligible. Note that whenever we see bene say beneficiary states, it refers to seven states. Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Sikkim and Tripura. Without going through these one by one, we will all, we'll actually go through what we already have and we will explain that to you. One, uh, you have in-service sponsored candidates in terms. In-service sponsored candidates are candidates who are working in the state health services. They are in service of the government of the beneficiary states. These are the seven states of northeast states except for Assam, the other northeast states. If you are working in the state health services, then you can be sponsored and you have a specific set of seats. The number of seats are also mentioned. The exact seat split may come in later. Next, you have the open category. If you are an in-service candidate applying for in-service seats, you cannot apply for open category. You will see that RIMS will publish a merit list for in-service Arunachal Pradesh, in-service or sponsored Sikkim and so on. So all the states, all the set of uh, states over here will have a specific sponsored merit list. Similarly, under open category, you have four different uh, set of candidates who are eligible. One is RIMS graduates. You passed out from RIMS, you did your MBBS from RIMS and you belong to, you are a permanent resident of any one of these states then you are eligible for certain set of seats. So RIMS graduate, Arunachal Pradesh will be a separate merit list. There will be a separate set of seats and so on. That is one set. Second, RIMS, I did my uh, MBBS from RIMS, but I did it under All India Quota. In that case, this, seven, uh, this is not relevant. I did it under All India Quota. I might be from Karnataka. I did it under All India Quota under RIMS. I am eligible and I have a set of seats available for me. The third is non-RIMS. I did not do my MBBS from RIMS, but I belong, uh, but I am a Northeast graduate, which basically means I did my MBBS from any of these states. I, I am a graduate uh, MBBS from any of these states. Then 
I am eligible for a set of seats uh, in Prems. Now, I am a resident of northeastern states. I could have done any MBBS. I reside in any of these northeastern states, but I could have done MBBS anywhere across. Those candidates are also eligible. So, basically, if you are a RIMS graduate or if you are a graduate from any one of these states or if you are a graduate from any state belonging, residing in this particular, uh, in any one of the seven northeastern states, you would be eligible for this set of seats. Candidates might be eligible in one or two criteria, etc. So that you will have to decide. But once you apply under the open category, no in-service for you. Once you apply under in-service, you will not be eligible for open category. The set of seats are limited. The uh, difference is that the seat matrix is also different uh, every year. So you will have to look at the seat matrix later. Currently, what you need to do is, you need to send across all your your entire uh, application form to the office of the director general you can do it straight away you can fill it in your own handwriting just uh, clearly and legibly you have to write and send across in the prescribed form no extension of timeline because uh, there is a uh, i mean already mcc has notified the timeline soon they will also notify the timeline so complete it at the earliest possible the payment of the fee has to be done to this account and the transaction details or proof of payment has to be attached along with the application form later the counseling will happen which will also be offline usually the counseling is offline the venue details will be intimated it will usually be either jnims rims or in some cases manipur health directorate we are not sure usually it is one of these two locations and the jnims rims counseling happens together so that there is a candidate is not allotted multiple seats etc they'll happen it will happen together if you are eligible for both let us say for, through some criteria you can go there there is no uh, a necessity to attend two separate counselings in Manipur. So that is how it is. Just wait for the counsellings to start. Uh, uh, you will get intimations on that. As of now, complete the application form. If you are looking at AEQ seats, nothing to be done. If you are looking at the specific seats you are eligible for based on your northeastern uh, permanent residence or uh, any MBBS or RIMS MBBS or sponsored, you are in service in any of these northeastern states, then you can apply for RIMS. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any queries, you can always call us. We will also be helping out on any queries for subscribers. Please do call us.